one. Here we have another R40 size lamp. This one is 220, 230 volts and I think it's at 300 watts. The actual etch is not very good and uh, if we can have a look at it closer even with the cameras it's fairly difficult to see. It's made in UK there's no name on it it's hard glass that says hard glass and that refers to the fact that the glass will take the odd splash when I say the odd splash I don't mean a, a cup full of cold water but just the odd spray if you were having a bath or something like that or a shower the odd spray on it shouldn't cause it to come to any harm now these lamps are either made with the clear glass or with the red coloured glass it is actually a stained glass the glass itself is completely stained so it stays red even through the light it is an infrared source which is a source of heat and these would be used in uh, such applications as I'll get the bulb screwed in right uh, for uh, uh, brooding they're sometimes called a brooder lamp which means brooding your either keeping chickens or ducks or something like that young animals which have to have a little bit of warmth they're normally wired up with a therm uh, yeah with a thermostat so the temperature is controlled or they can be used as a heat treatment lamp if you get a pain rheumatism something like that it is supposed to work it gives you like a deep heat anyhow let's have a little look and uh, see what it looks like as I'm on my trusted variable voltage source I'm gonna, only going to wind it up so much because the rating of this bulb would be too much and I don't want to burn it out the filament as you see is um, coiled coil it's actually a coiled coil filament it's been knocked about a bit unfortunately but it's still intact still intact highly silvered inside silvering you can see on the outside as well it's also got in the neck of the lamp a disc either a mica disc it looks like a mica disc can't always make these out but the idea of those is to keep the heat from going down or up up rather into the, the cap or the base it just keeps the temperature within the actual bulb itself that's the idea behind it I won't put it on any brighter than that it would go a little bit brighter perhaps let's have a little go there we are that's the 300 watt infrared heat lamp brooder lamp age 60s 70s where I got it from I haven't a clue possibly a boot cell that's where a lot of my stuff originates from anyhow thanks for looking any questions please make uh, also please subscribe any comments make once again thanks for looking thank you